Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today. Let's look through some simple summer sewing projects. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably going through the same thing as me right now. It's a good way through summer and you haven't really sewn that much, but you really wanna get a few projects done that you can enjoy in the warm weather. I've decided that I need a couple of quick wins, so I'm gonna be looking through a few different garment styles, matching them with some patterns and talking about some easy or at least simple projects that we can get underway before the end of summer. Okay, let's jump in. The first thing up is a summer staple, a tank top. It could be a loose, relaxed tank top. It could be something that is cropped and a little bit tighter, but I'm not joking when I say that my closet is empty right now when it comes to summer clothing. And a tank top is gonna go a long way and be a simple thing that I can make, whether I make it knit or woven. There's a lot of different styles you can go for. And with a few simple tweaks, you can make one pattern go a really, really long way. Here are the pattern picks for tank tops. First, there's the Eevee top from Style Arc Patterns. I haven't used Style Arc before, but I know that they're pretty accessible for most people since you can buy them as PDF patterns. And they're not too expensive when you think of indie patterns. This Eevee top is a very simple tank, a simple shell that you can change up to suit your needs however you'd like. After that, we're looking at the Axis tank. Now this is a tighter fit, it's for a stretch or jersey fabric, and you've got a few different options. So you can take it a little bit into athleisure. If you use some really good performance fabric, you could even make it useful for a workout or for any kind of intense activity. But you could also just make it out of some simple jersey fabric and have a few different options for stylish tank tops. I really like the Axis tank pattern and I haven't gotten it yet because of my exploding, exploding pattern collection, but I do have my eye on it. Now for a free option, there's the Mood Society's um, Sylvan pattern. I believe that's a tank and dress and crop top and you can take that and run with it when it comes to pattern hacking you can take all of these patterns and kind of run with them a little bit of course there are a lot of commercial options for crop tops and i don't have the time to list them all here but here were three options that are indie including that one free option for you another great item for the summer is a lovely layering piece you might commonly refer to this as a kimono if you're English speaking, but it's not a kimono. Uh, that's a different kind of garment and it can be confusing if you're used to referring to everything that's flowy and open with large sleeves as a kimono. I like to call these flowy items that can reach beyond your knees or be really long dusters. There are other names for items that are a little bit shorter that might wrap across. If you know of some of the other names of these kinds of garments, please do let me know. Um, but I do know that they're not called kimonos and that can get confusing when people are learning different garment names. Okay, I really, really love these pieces because you can make great use of some beautiful colors and some statement fabrics. They tend to be simple to sew depending on how difficult your fabric is to work with and they tend to be a little bit more forgiving when you have beginner sewing skills this is a great place to practice your french seams and to practice those baby hems another great thing if you pick an item that is a little bit more opaque and has is really oversized you can cross it over with a belt or even button it up if you manage to put some buttons in your item and it serves double duty as a nice maxi dress i really really love pieces that serve double duty and can kind of transition with you in some of the cooler summer weather you have a ton of options when it comes to summer dusters 
one of the great things about this kind of item is it's very, very simple to make without a pattern. I might show a version up here on my YouTube channel soon, but you really just be, need to be able to sew some rectangles together and cut out a neck hole. Um, my pattern picks for you are some of the more involved items that you would like a pattern for. First up is the So Liberated Lichen. I think I'm saying it right, the Lichen Duster. Um, it's got some really interesting details. It's got a back yoke. It might not be super easy, but it's not um, a complex piece in terms that you can wear it a few different ways. Um, it's gonna look nice and understated, but add a little bit of elegance to whatever you've made. And I think it would look really, really good in a linen, which means that it would transition from summer to fall really, really well. Another item is a commercial pattern. Um, it's Simplicity, it's Mimi G's pattern actually, Simplicity 9114. I really like this pattern. I like any sportswear pattern that has several different pieces that I can play with. Um, it's a little bit more involved because it is full length and buttoned down and there is a good amount of gathering but it's a really, really lovely pattern. I could see doing it without those full sleeves, maybe adding a really short block sleeve on the end of it and having a really beautiful pattern. And this one does double duty as a dress, obviously, depending on what you make it out of. Now, before we go on to the next summer garment, I wanna remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while you're at it, share these videos. I would love for more people to be able to see these and for me to be able to interact with you guys a little bit more. Every time that you do one of these actions, it helps my channel be viewed by other people. If you've really liked what I'm doing here, please take a moment to like it and share it with a friend. Okay. If you like to wear skirts and you're looking for something easy to sew this summer, you need to make a wrap skirt. I love wrap skirts. I love them because they're simple. All you have to do for a basic wrap skirt is put in a couple of darts and then sew a rectangle with some ties on it. Um, and you can go as intense with the details as you want to from there. I really love also that they're a great garment if your waistline fluctuates, if your weight fluctuates. I know that mine has over this past year more dramatically than it ever has before. And it's been really, really nice to have a wrap skirt that I know will look good no matter kind of where I'm at. I just like having pieces that I love on my body. So there's a lot of different kind of styles for wrap skirts. This is an item that is very, very simple to DIY and there are tons of tutorials. But for pattern picks, I've got the Ellie and Mac adult wrap skirt pattern. I think this is nice if you wanted something that has a ruffle on it. There's also a really great tutorial if you want a style of wrap skirt similar to some of the earlier reference photos that I just showed you that comes up a little bit higher on the thigh, I will link to that video right here. Now one really surprisingly simple summer garment is an off the shoulder top. This can be a tube top with a ruffle. It can be a more elaborate piece with full sleeves. It can be a lot of different things, but it is an item that's reasonable for a beginner sewist. If you're looking for the perfect pattern to achieve this garment, um, the first pick that I have for you is also from Ellie and Mac. It is the Be Bold Top Tunic and Dress Pattern. It's a lovely, simple top that you should be able to sew with beginner sewing skills. I've also got the Kara Top from Style Arc Patterns. Another option is a commercial pattern. That's McCall's 7757. I've never made this pattern, but I've seen a lot of different people make it on a lot of different body types. If you're not as comfortable showing as much skin, you can elongate the pattern and make it a longer top. If you do want something for the summer, this is a really great top that kind of takes 
the pattern hacking and does it for you. It gives you a few different options as well as some bottoms to work with. But we're looking at the top here and I really, really love the simplest one, view A with the ruffle right across it. Ooh, I almost forgot, but I did have another style arc pick that I think I like better than the Kara top. And that's the Ellie Mae top. It's a top and a dress pattern and I like the ruffle on this one a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more easy and relaxed than the Kara. Um, yeah, so those are two different style arc picks. You can go with Kara or Ellie Mae. Last but not least, I don't know about you, but this summer I am in desperate need of a simple tiered dress. I think this is a piece that's pretty classic. Um, there's always a slightly different twist on the style, and I think lately the more oversized, the better. I am definitely gonna make something that suits my taste a little bit more, but I really, really love seeing the different things that people do with these tiered dresses. It doesn't have to even be a long tiered dress. I would actually really love a tiered mini dress, um, cause I love that, that juxtaposition of that big volume with that really short dress. So this is another item that has a ton of different DIYs. What I'm actually doing right now as I'm making the tiered dress that's on my sewing table is taking one of my favorite top patterns, that's McCall's 7631, and I just changed the neckline and added some tiers to the bottom of that pattern. It's a pretty simple DIY to do if you already have a top that you like. Um, there is a really great chalk and notch tutorial on their site for the victory tank, I believe. Yes, so it's the chalk and notch victory tank and they have a tutorial of how to turn that into a tiered gathered dress as well. Another commercial pattern that you can take for a tiered dress is McCall's 7948. This makes a beautiful tiered woven dress. I like what they've done with their model on the cover. If you're not sure on a pattern that you'd like to use, but you'd like to get a little tear dress tutorial, I do know that on her channel, Rosary Apparel has a tutorial and I believe she's added some shoulder ties. She may be selling this pattern, I'm not 100% sure, but she does walk you through it on her site. There are a million and one tiered dresses that you can find, and this would be a good tutorial if you just wanna get a look at things. Those are my summer simple sewing picks. What do you think? Maybe it wasn't as short and sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I guess I do talk a lot, but I hope that I've inspired you or given you a little bit of inspiration for your summer sewing. And if your mojo is a little bit low, at least you can have something that'll be a quick win. I'll share it with you guys when I make any of these pieces and I hope you'll share yours too. Okay, peace. <music>